everyone, welcome to TTV News with some latest events in Tainan province. And here are our stories today. Ladies and gentlemen, recently, Mr. Võ Đức Trọng, standing vice chairman of the Provincial People's Committee, had chaired a meeting to welcome the Council General of the Kingdom of Cambodia in Ho Chi Minh City, coming to read and give best wishes to leaders of Tainan province on Lunar New Year. Mr. Sokhtarek consoles Terrell is the head of the delegation, and at the meeting, standing by Chairman of Provincial People's Committee of the Province, Fordik Trong informed about the situation of the social economic development in the locality. Some good communication events between the two neighboring countries and bordering provinces between Tinan and the Kingdom of Cambodia. On behalf of the delegation, Consul Chero sought direct congratulated the Vietnamese people in the Chero and Tinan province in particular for overcoming difficulties and stabilizing the economy. On the occasion of the traditional Lunar New Year, the Consul Chero wished the people of Tinan a peaceful and happy spring and successful New Year. Continuing the visit at the Provincial Party Committee Office, Mr. Nguyen Thanh Tom, Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, received the Consul General Sok Direct of Cambodia and wished that the leadership of the province would continue to create conditions for Vietnamese businesses to spend investment, promote rights and link tourism promotion not only between the three neighboring provinces but also many other regions in Cambodia. Mr. Winton Tom affirmed that the visit to congratulate the Lunar New Year also aims to promote a good neighborly relationships, traditional friendship, comprehensive and long-term sustainable cooperation between Vietnam and Cambodia in general, and the province with the Consulate General of Cambodia in particular. And ladies and gentlemen, the Ministry of Health has just the provinces daily nationwide to create favorable conditions for the people to return their hometowns to welcome the Lunar New Year for that holidays, citing the last coverage of COVID-19 vaccination. The Ministry met the request in a document sent to the people committees of provincial level localities on January the 22nd. It noted that 100% of the people aged 18 and above have received at least one shot of COVID-19 vaccines, 95.6% of the second and about 18.6% of the third. And meanwhile, 94.1% of the children aged between 12 to 17 have given at least one dose of vaccines of COVID-19 and 82.2% of the second dose. The ministry also requests that localities to increase monitoring and promptly detect suspected cases in the community so as to take timely action to curb the spreading of the COVID-19 pandemic. And by the end of January the 21st, a total of nearly 175 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines were administered in the country, including 78,800,000 being first dose and 73,700,000 the second and about 22,400,000 the third. In comparison with the target recommended by WHO, Vietnam has achieved the goal six months earlier. It is expected that Vietnam will complete the third dose of vaccine by the end of the first quarter of 2022. Recently in Phuc Chỉ Khâm Biu, Trảng Bàn Thao, Tainan Radio and Television Station has coordinated with a number of businesses in the province to give that gift to poor and disadvantaged households here. In Phuc Chỉ Khâm one of the broader communes of Trảng Bàn Thao, leaders of Tainan Radio and Television Station and local authorities presented 85 that gifts to the poor and near-poor household. Its gift is worth 300,000 Vietnam dong. The total value of the gift is nearly 30 million Vietnam dong, contributed by businesses in the province such as Tang Yin Company Limited, Trung Thang Private Enterprise, and Le Phu Private Enterprise. These are gifts with the meaning of sharing love to the people in border areas, significant areas of the province that the Nguyen Television Station has connected with a number of businesses in the province to join hand with the localities to take care of the poor household on the occasion of the coming of the Tet holidays. And also in the morning of the same day, the Women Unions of Phuc Chi Commune, in collaboration with Nhạc Hồng Food Technology Company Limited, presented 50 Tet gifts. It worth about 300,000 Vietnam dong to the poor and needy household also. In 2022, the State Bank of Vietnam will continue to manage in monetary policy in a proactive and flexible manner and in close coordination with the fiscal and other macroeconomic policies to curb inflation, maintain macroeconomic stability, and full economic growth. 
financial experts said that banking was a rare industry that posted growth over the past time despite the prolonged COVID-19 pandemic. The profit picture of the banking industry in 2021 remained bright, mainly due to recovery of capital demand of the economy in the last month of 2021. Many commercial banks have been extending credit limits by the State Bank of Vietnam to inject capital into the market to serve the production and business activities. The breakthrough in credit at the end of the year was the driving force for a strong increase in banking profits. According to the latest update, the credit growth of the whole economy in 2021 reached nearly 14%, where it had initially been expected to increase only about 12%. The security company also said that the banking industry would have a positive prospect in 2022 when the economy and debt repayment capacity of enterprises gradually recover. Moreover, to avoid making the same mistakes, many commercial banks sharply increased provision for risk to cover bad debts. Combined with the condition of stable liquidity in the short term, where it is expected to grow robustly in the first six months of this year, so banking stock will soon attract the cash flow again. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the Tenant Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, currently the company raw material area of Tan Tan Kong Sugar Factory Bình Hòa has just signed an investment contract and consumed the 2020-2021 crop year with an area of sugar cans already planted, planting, investing and taking care of is more than 10,600 hectares of which investment in the province is more than 4,000 hectares, investment in the neighbor country of Cambodia is more than 8,600 hectares, and currently sugar mills in the province have stopped working due to the end of the crop, resulting in nearly 740,000 tons of sugar cane put into production, and the sugar production is about 70,000 tons. The agricultural sector has carried out the monitoring of sugar with a total of 220 samples of sugar cane juice and six fibers of samples on sent to the center number three for testing. As a result, 145 over 145 samples measured at TT number three gave lower results than the company's measurement result, and two over six fiber samples have a lower percentage than the company results. The monitoring team proposed to apply the average fiber ratio of the company and the TT number three to calculate sugar for sugar cane farmers. Ladies and gentlemen, with an effort to improve the investment environment, focus on the development of industrial production. Until now, then an industry has gradually restructured production in order to increase the contents of science and technologies and the proportions of price, domestic value in the products. According to the assessment of the Provincial People's Committee in 2021, despite being affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, production and business activities of enterprises in the provincial industrial price will still be maintained, promoted, and achieve positive results. Implementing the Government Resolution No. 128 on the safe, flexible adaptation and effective control of the COVID-19 pandemic, the situation of production and business recovery in the province has seen many positive changes. Industrial production index in 2021 increased by 2.6% over the same period, in which the processing and manufacturing industry increased by 2.3%, production and distribution of electricity, gas, hot water, steam, and air conditioning by 29.7%, and right from the beginning of 2022, businesses are actively increasing production capacity, ensuring productivity and quality to recover financial order. In the context that COVID-19 pandemic is basically under control up to now, most businesses in the province have restarted and gradually restored production and business activities. Many businesses have made efforts to overcome difficulties and actively seize opportunities to promote efficient production and business in the new situation. The social economic situation of the province is basically stable, and there are many positive changes also. In the fields of industrial production, trades and services have also gradually improved and get positive changes and gradually regain their strength, hyper momentum in January of 2022. It's noted, although the majority of enterprises have restarted and resumed production, they have actively innovated their models and linked to promote their potentials and strengths to deeply participate in the good supply chain and trade association import. However, there are still some businesses that have temporarily suspended operation due to the ineligibility to comply with regulation or lack of labor to restore production. 
and Vice Chairman of Provincial People's Committee Yu Wang Tang said that the province in general and the industry and private sector in particular will continue to reform administration, improve the investment environment, and create the best conditions for businesses in the province to restore production, renovating trade and investment promotion, apply information technology in the context of complicated epidemic developments, and firming e-commerce is a channel that is being done and popularized for the businesses about the new generation of FTAs, this market approach, and promote vaccination for workers both since time and outside industrial zones and clusters, strengthening propaganda and awareness rising among the people of all strata to spread the pandemic control, adapt to the pandemic in the new state, and soon stabilize production and business for a momentum for social economic development of the provincial association in the near future. At the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022, after the COVID-19 pandemic was controlled, the businesses in the province to maintain stable production and business were ensuring production and business recovery, meanwhile also ensuring the health for the workers. The management board of industrial joints in the province said that in 2022, it is forecast that the situation will still have many differences and instability due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The unit also developed an adaptive and flexible scenario implementing the set goals at the same time closely coordinated with localities, departments and branches in the province to implement the task, especially removing difficulties and obstacles and providing support for investors and businesses. In addition, to then continue to promote administrative reform, create a favorable business environment for enterprises, assist the enterprises in fighting the markets, promote trade promotion of trade investment and technology to enter the country manufacture. In particular, the province has set up a working group to support and remove difficulties for the businesses to restore production and at the same time accelerate the construction of infrastructures to ensure regional connectivity with localities in the province as well as in the southern key economic region. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for TTV News today. Thank you for joining with us and see you next time.